from Dave's place with the turtles, Costa Rica. Overall, this is the rocks, the water, and the jungle. And it's been really hot. I don't know who had the idea for coming here. But, it's hot. I found these two crabs right here. And this one is the boy and this one is the girl and they were married and the boy was old and that's why this girl's mom's parents disapproved and they said don't marry him because he's too old and then they were stuck out on the rocks and he couldn't make it back to the ocean because he was old and so he was telling her just to go without him but she loved him too much and so she stayed with him and then the, the rocks got too hot and they dried out and then they died so if you believe in true love then post this as your Facebook status for uh, 30 minutes in the 1940s this crab was uh, worked in the propaganda ministry for the Nazis, but he was a coward. And so when the Russians started to invade Berlin, he got on a plane and escaped to Panama. And uh, he was pretty old. And at the end of his life, he came out here to the ocean. And he positioned himself like this because deep, deep down in his heart, he still believed that the Third Reich was the best thing for the world and uh, that's why his arm is up like that. What happened? <laughs> they are, these are not shoes for hiking. This spiral shell was used by a magician to hypnotize people. He used to spin it around and they would, he would hypnotize them and then he would make them pretend like they have x-ray glasses on and they could see through women's clothing and other crazy stunts like that. Except uh, he was on a Titanic and when it hit the iceberg, everybody's like, hey, use your magic to make the ship not sink. And he's like, well, I, they're just illusions. It's not, magic isn't real. And so people were upset about that and they threw him overboard. And um, he had this in his pocket, but it fell out and then it washed um, all the way from where the Titanic sunk in the Atlantic Ocean to here, which is uh, on the Pacific. So this little guy has really been around. But if I, the scary thing is, if I take the camera, go like this, and spin it, whoops, and spin it around, then probably a lot of you are starting to think that even though you can't see through women's clothing, but you'll probably start to feel like you can a little bit. This rock is a prehistoric golf ball. And these divots help the, the ball travel in a straighter path and farther. And it was, it belonged to this guy named Goliath. He was really big, that's why he used big golf balls. And he had a pretty stellar career until war broke out um, with the Philistines. And he got drafted because he was big and good at swinging golf clubs so they put a sword in his hand and they said here swing this instead but then this guy named David um, he hit him with a rock in his head and then he died and then his career was pretty much over after that
good. So there's people that can do it without breaking this side of the coconut and just get the rounded part. Right? Yeah. So, so.